The zones have changed dramatically from not only OG Fortnite, but from our last modern season of Chapter 4 Season 4. I've gone through old footage and gathered exact times on the zones to show you how they compare to our current zones in Chapter 5 Season 1. Once you see the numbers, I think it'll be a lot more obvious why this season feels the way it does with the storm moving at the speed and rate that it currently is. There have already been a couple of tweaks to the timing of this current season, and I will note them when we get there. Apologies in advance, some clips in this video my green screen was peeking through so you will see parts of the brick wall in the bottom center part of the screen. Try to ignore it. All of this data has been taken from solo, public, zero build matches where I placed first, which will affect a couple of points that I have later on, so just keep this fact in mind. Okay, take a look at the numbers from the last season that we played fully, OG Fortnite. From the very beginning of the game, when you can make a decision, you have... 24 seconds to drop, 1 minute before the first zone forms. First zone is 2 minutes and 20 seconds. The first zone moves in at 4 minutes total. Second zone is 2 minutes, second zone moves in, 2 minutes total. Third zone is 2 minutes, but it moves in at 90 seconds. Then it's 90 seconds for a lot of things. For zone 4, zone 4 moving in, and zone 5. Then zone 5 moves in, and zone 6 and zone 6 moves in all at 1 minute apiece. The game that I took this from ended at zone 1 moving. The total game length was approximately 22 minutes. Now, let's give this a comparison to the last modern season that we previously had, which was chapter 4, season 4. Those numbers are 36 seconds to drop from the bus, 1 minute zone 1 forms, 3 minutes in zone 1, and then it's a 90 second interval over and over again. You have that for zone 1 moving in, zone 2, 2 moving in, zone 3, 3 moving in, zone 4, and zone 4 moving in. And then it drops down to 1 minute for zone 5 moving in, zone 6 moving in, zone 7 moving in, and then it's a little random, zone 8 was 40 seconds, zone 8 moving in was 55 seconds, and the game that I took it from ended in zone 8 moving in, which lasted approximately 21 minutes. This leads us to our current Chapter 5 Season 1, where the numbers have gotten reduced dramatically compared to both of these last two seasons. We are currently working with 32 seconds to drop, which is actually from 27. It's been increased by 5 seconds since the season started. I'm filming this on the 6th of December. One minute before Zone 1 forms, which is consistent amongst these three seasons that we're looking at. Two minutes for Zone 1. A minute 10 seconds for the first zone to move in, which is actually 20 seconds longer than the 90 seconds that we initially had when the season began. I'm not, they gave it a 20 second increase in first zone moving in and second zone moving in. So both those are a minute 10 seconds. They used to be 90 seconds, which is the time that zone two currently lasts. Zone three lasts for an obscure 95 seconds and moves in at 95 seconds. Zone four, even more weird, is currently at 85 seconds and it started at 90 seconds when the season began. That's been changed. And zone four moves in in at 90 seconds. Zone 5 is only 50 seconds long. That's crazy that zone 5 is less than a minute. Zone 5 moves in at 70 seconds. Zone 6 is also 50 seconds. And zone 6 moves in at 70 seconds as well, which is where the game ended. And this was for approximately a 15 minute match. Comparing 15 minutes to 21 minutes and 22 minutes respectively is just crazy. I did the math, that's about a 30% quicker game that we're currently dealing with. Now, this is not an opinion video. I'm not gonna state whether or not I like these changes or dislike these changes. I'm gonna leave that for a separate video. This right now is just to give you folks all the detail that you need to know and to further emphasize where of these 30% decrease is taking place the most, and that is in the beginning of the game. The fact that the, f the zone moved in at four minutes in OG Fortnite and now only moves in at a minute and 10 seconds is absolutely crazy. So folks, this is why the zone is it's moving faster. There's no way that it can cover the amount of ground that it used to with it being such a reduced amount of time. So by virtue of that, the storm has to be moving faster. I do not have exact numbers as to how fast it is moving. It's felt like it's moving faster, but I'm pretty convinced that it's moving faster given that we see how much less time that the storm has to actually cover the ground. So I'm assuming I could be wrong, but the storm I feel like is probably moving faster as well. So in the early parts of the game, you just have to hurry. If you've been playing the, the new season, then you have kind of felt this already, but this is putting numbers to logic, to feeling, and trying to actually quantify exactly how little time we really do have to play the game in the beginning portion. So we'll leave the opinions on chapter five, season one for a different video. I just wanted to break down what's going on and give everyone the data so that you can have the best advantage that you possibly can in your next games going forward. All right, thank you folks. Love you as always, and we'll see you on the next one.